I am claiming the song of Moses. The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Exodus chapter 15, verse 2, New King James Version. I read this verse written by Moses and it floored me. I was floored because it spoke to my heart, reminding me of who God is to me and how I am to be to Him. First, this verse states that God is my strength. All my life, I have been told, Oh, you're so strong. At times, I have believed that. At other times, I have not believed it. Sometimes I have felt like an imposter, faking my way through difficulties. But this verse was telling me that I am strong when I rely on the Lord my God who gives me strength in whatever situation. In fact, Paul wrote, That's why I take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10 Second, this verse tells me that the Lord is my song. I don't think I am alone when I say that I have a few songs, secular and sacred, whose lyrics I repeat or that I listen to, for they motivate me. Some of them bring me peace. I listen to different ones depending on what mood I am in. But according to this Bible verse, Moses declares that God is his song. I am claiming that for myself too. God is the song that picks me up. He is the song that comforts me and reminds me I am loved and blessed. I can dance and sing along like no one is watching to songs that speak of God's love, grace, and mercies every day. Third, this declaration of Moses goes on to say that God has become his salvation. We can't have salvation any other way or from anyone else. That's why I want to cooperate with the Lord to be a habitation for Him to indwell. After all, Paul tells us that each of our bodies is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am so blessed that my mother Jill and my aunt Robin cultivated a love for God in my sister and me. I pray that our children and their children's children will be just as blessed because they know for themselves the God of our mothers and fathers and of Moses. Erica Luder Mill Webb I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.